believe that it's God's will for us to tell men and women again that Jesus lives. I want you to say it with me, Jesus lives. That was kind of nice. Praise God, that was kind of nice. But does Jesus live? Does he really live? Is he really alive tonight? I'm talking about the walking, talking, miraculous Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. second verse you made. And there are people here tonight. Some of you have known Christ. Some of you have been young people. You've got older, but now you're sophisticated. You don't feel like you need to seek him again. There are people here that can be healed tonight of any disease, including the dread disease of any man's category of illness. Because Jesus is here. He's here. There's hope here for the hopeless. There's joy here for those that need joy. Because we are preaching not a synthetic God, but a God that was and is and will be Praise the name of the Lord.
and intensity. Start talking to people about it. He's going to be here through the weekend, but I said to him, if God starts a revival that will last until the convention, would you stay? And he said he would. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Randy Wilkes will be with us next week from Lincoln. I believe God wants the word to go forth. I tell you tonight, God wants to do something for every single one of There is a one that he doesn't want to do what he can do. What he can do for you. What he can do for you. Now you can spend the rest of your life. Is that interesting? The rest of your life. to church with you. Let them come and be with you as you come to the house of God. Tomorrow evening, I know the first part of the evening, we'll be here for our Monday night Bible study and also at 6 o'clock 
I'm going to be talking to those that are interested in hearing about the convention, getting ready for it. Uh, we'll be talking some on that and stirring your mind up on where you can work, where you can labor, and where you can get a part. That comes at 6 o'clock tomorrow evening, afternoon, evening. And uh, we look forward to always have a wonderful Bible study. I don't know what uh, is going to be any activity after that. Uh, in choir, band, practice, all right. There is 6 o'clock Bible study and talk about the convention. If you want to hear about the convention, you want to find out what you can do, what places you can serve, we'll start the first meeting. We'll have others, but we'll start the first one tomorrow uh, evening at the Bible study time. And then Tuesday night, Brother Ferris, who is right here, Maria is right here, and the bilingual service. Wednesday night, we're back here. Invite somebody to come with you. Wednesday night, seek for a soul. Reach out for someone to be saved. Invite someone to come. And then through the week, we'll have Thursday night, fellowship night, in uh, Fort Charlotte, Brother Randy Wilkes will be there. Fort Charlotte, with Brother Stewart, Sister Stewart. Friday night, we'll go over in Sebring at Brother Zonville's assembly. And Brother uh, Wilkes will be with us there. Saturday night, he'll be here. Saturday night with us. And we'll be looking forward to this man of God and the people of God coming. We've got a busy, busy week ahead of us. We love the Lord. We love each other. And may God give us the inspiration we need to get from here to there. I like Brother Mike McKinnon's expression on that tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. You can. gave that prophecy last night. I thought about the prophecy you gave 25 years ago. Yes. And I'd like to read it. All right. Yea, saith the Lord, I will restore. I will restore, saith the Lord. Yea, saith the Lord, I will restore. Yea, I will bring you back. I will restore. Yea, saith the Lord. Yea, saith the Lord, I will restore. I will restore my broken people. Yes, I will restore my hurt people. Yea, I will restore the people that have been torn. I will restore the people that have been rended. I will restore you. I will bring your joy back. I will put my joy back in your spirit. I will open your heart. I will put my spirit in you again. You will walk with my spirit. You will be raised up in my spirit. You will touch my spirit. You will hear my spirit. My spirit will speak to you. My spirit will lead you. Yea, saith the Lord, I have seen your tears. I've seen your rending. I've seen your hurt. I've seen your destroying. I've seen the destroyer, but I will restore. I will bring my people back into the garden. I will bring them back in their image. I will restore their likeness. I will touch the church. I will bring forth a miracle. I will bring forth a revival. I will heal the church. I will cause my people to find peace, their relationship with me, their garden restored. Yea, saith the Lord, I will restore my prophets. I will restore my word. I will restore my honor. I will restore respect. I will bring forth kindness. I will restore dignity. I will bring forth wisdom. I will bring forth knowledge. I will restore my church. I will not let it stay as it is. I will take the weeds from it. I will take the evil. I will take those thorns. I will show men that I am still God and that I will restore my church. I will drive back the unbeliever. I will take the unbeliever and put him into a place where he will burn. I will talk to those that will believe. I will bring my people together. I will talk to the church. Prophecy is a powerful part of the church. Prophesying is a foretelling of God in the church. When prophecy comes, the whole world must be silent and the word of God must be spoken. Yea, saith the Lord, I am going to heal some families miraculously. 
I'm going to demonstrate that I have been God <coughs> all through the storm. I'm going to show you that I have not forgotten my children. I must not let you stay pitiful. You must not be pitiful. You are a child that needs help. You must get help. I will help you. I will restore you. I will bring you back into the fold. I will talk to your heart. I will love you. You must enlarge your borders. You must not sit in that same attitude. You must be willing to rise up and say, I have been touched of thee. I am part of the creation. I am part of the chain. You're putting me together again. I feel it. I feel the Holy Ghost. My God, I feel so small in myself, but I feel God raising up. Thank the Lord, I feel the chains being taken. I feel the chains leaving the church. I see the church restoring. I see the church coming back. I see the church raising up. I see the church being touched of God. I want to restore my first love among you. I want you to be restored. It is not my will for you to be distant, to be hard or to be cold or to be separated one from another. It is not my will. That is what Adam did. He brought sin. He brought death. He brought evil. Now I'm seeking to restore you. I'm seeking to bring you back into the image from which you've come. I'm seeking to touch you again from the garden. This prophecy was given by Brother Marlowe on the 5th of June in 1991. That's 25 years ago. <coughs> and I believe it's still ago. relevant to the church today. 25 years ago. It is coming to pass. It is coming to pass. I'm going to let you go, but there's a person, and there may be more than one, that's here right now, and they're weeping and crying in their spirit. And they need, they need just to feel the comfort of God's people. They need to feel the comfort of God. Would you get out of your chair and come back? Would you come? That's the soul of God wanted me to reach for. That's the soul. Come right now. See, one soul is worth every minute. God knows we're saved. We feel we are. But here's a young lady, Florence, 